started out five years ago as a dream has finally come to fruition. My dream AR, Isabella. Let's get into this. Okay guys, so I broke the uh, AR down so you can get a little bit better view of it on my smaller table. So I can't fully see it. Hopefully this is better for y'all. But I broke it down so you guys can see the AR and all its components. And today we're going to be talking about my dream AR build as the title so descriptively says. And we're going to be going over first kind of the quest and you know how it started and then we're going to go into the build of it. So like I said in the intro, it's all kind of started about five years ago, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, when I was shooting a friend's AR and it had an EOTech. It was a really nice tactically equipped firearm, though back then it had a like, full quad rail because that was kind of what was in vogue back then. And that was basically the start to my want of having a really nice tactical, fully equipped AR that could really do well in a WROL or a type of any type of combative situation for whatever reason. That's essentially what started it off. Now I had to put this kind of idea or project on the shelf for quite some time because of monetary restrictions and kind of life because I was trying to do other things at the time that were higher priorities but at the same time putting together a really nice tactical AR was still on the back burner until about last year. So last year was essentially the start of my searching for an AR and I started looking because at that point I had finally been able to have like the money to actually get one and I had spent enough time researching and learning what exactly I wanted in an AR so when it came time to get one I would get what I wanted and not have any, regret any regrets. And finally a lot of about the last month I actually found the AR that I wanted and it actually came with pretty much everything you guys are going to see here minus the vortex optic here. Let's start into what I was looking for a year ago and what I found. So the first thing that was very important for me was I wanted a full length M-Lock rail and I wanted, didn't want just any old M-Lock. I actually wanted an M-Lock like what you guys see here. and. What I mean by that is there are many different types of M-Lock rails out there, but if you notice the M-Lock slots are cut in at every 45, and I wanted the 45 cuts, just like a full length rail, for maximum versatility, just to be able to put whatever I wanted wherever I wanted, primarily thinking flashlights and lasers, those kinds of things going on a 45 degree, whereas your things like foregrips and sights going on your 90 degrees. So that was the primary reason I wanted a 45 degree cut, not to mention also when you have your 45 degrees cut with M-Lock, it also makes the rail lighter. So that was one thing I wanted. Another thing I wanted was a full or a pretty solid barrel. I didn't want an M4 cut barrel because those always felt very thin to me. I'm not exactly sure the exact profile of this barrel. It is made by Aero Precision, but it is certainly a thicker barrel. It's a lot more than an M4 cut, but at the same time, it's not quite a bull barrel. It's not like some competition shooting barrel. <clears throat> so then, Moving back to the upper receiver, I wanted something that would have, or I wanted something that I really did want a dust cover because there are ARs out there that have dust covers deleted and those are cool and they're just fine. But to me, uh, when I was going for this build, uh, or when I was going for looking for an AR, I wanted a mil spec AR. I wanted something that had the similar or same design features as military specification because they're the ones out there fighting wars and using these things in combat. So if they deem a function or if they deem a piece, even if it's a small little dust cover, as a necessary piece for the function of the rifle, I want to make sure that I have that piece because I want to have that same type of uh, featuring. So that's why I went for the dust cover. Now next to that I wanted a brass deflector and a forward assist. Once again these are two things that not all uh, upper receivers have but I want them because it's mil spec and sometimes it is really nice having a forward assist because ARs can be bastards like that. So luckily I found an AR with that. 
So next to that, I also wanted a good bolt. This one is a this is a titanium nitride finish bolt. That's why it looks all golden. These aren't as popular as nickel boron or just your normal uh, like nitride coated uh, bolts. But this one's from Brownells. It's a great uh, bolt carrier. It cleans up really easy. Works just fine, like just like any other bolt carrier. This one's quite dirty, but you know, works just fine as a bolt. So this wasn't necessarily something that I wanted from the get-go, but this is a nice thing that this rifle already had featured included. And this is a Radian Raptor from the Radian Charging Handle Company. And I really do like the Radian Raptor. It seems to be kind of a go-to in the AR market, but for good reason. The charging handle works very well. You can charge it from either side. It's not uh, you can charge it from either side. It doesn't necessarily have to be charged from one side or the other. So as far as the upper goes, this is a complete arrow precision upper and lower, as well as a barrel gas block and rail is all arrow precision. And for me, I wasn't super picky about the upper, lower, you know, that such stuff. I did want to get one from a reputable company and arrow precision definitely fit the bill for me. Uh, they offered it, or they offer just fine products. I have no issues with Aero Precision. They are a wonderful company as far as quality wise goes. So, as far as these sights and other things on the upper, we'll get to that in just a minute. So, the next thing when I was looking for in a lower receiver, I was looking for something that had a full Magpul. I really am a huge fan of Magpul. So, obviously had to go with a Magpul grip. This one already had an MOE SL grip on it, and I really like the SL. It's a short, it's a really thin grip, and uh, it really fits the AR platform nicely. Another thing that I wanted in an AR platform, or in my AR build, was a custom trigger. And like I said, this one came with a custom trigger. That was just fine for me. This is a velocity trigger. It's a three pound drop-in trigger, and it works just fine really have no issues with the velocity trigger and it's actually a really clean break and I've shot this gun quite a bit and like I said I have no complaints with the velocity trigger. Of course this gun does have the bad lever on it and some people don't like the bad lever. I actually personally do like the bad lever and so I was glad to see the bad lever on there. Uh, another nice feature that I was looking for is an ambi safety. So of course safety selectors on both sides. This is of course a shortened throw uh, safety selector, which doesn't really matter to me, but it is nice, especially when you're doing drills where you're going from on and off. Uh, the shortened throw just makes it easier to kick it from you know fire to safe. Uh, so that's basically the lower receiver there's not too much more to talk about like i said it is a aero precision lower so great quality so then moving over to the butt stock i won't extend it for this this is probably the only thing that i would change on this setup but i will say the bcm gunslinger which is this stock seems to be a very popular stock it is very well liked in the community of ar people but i don't really like the gunslinger just for the fact of one, I find this uh, lever that you use to extend it, and you know, like retract and extend it, to be a little bit hard to use. And my other thing is I like uh, actually the Magpul STR stocks, or like the ACLs, in the fact that they have more of a cheek well on the rifle stock. So I'm probably gonna end up switching over to an ACS or a, yeah, it's an ACS or a STR stock. Um, for the future just because I like that extra cheek well that you get on those stocks. This stock definitely isn't a bad one. It works just fine. I've put 100 rounds through this gun with the stock and I really don't have any necessary complaints with it, just not really my style. So that's the lower and a bit about the upper and that's pretty much what I wanted in an AR in particular. I will say the other thing I wanted in an AR as far as accessories go, now getting to that part, I did want a vertical grip, which like I said, this gun came with. I wanted backup iron sights, which I'm actually really happy. This gun just so happened to come with uh, Magpul MBUS Pros, 
on it. So these are the really nice, actually rather expensive um, backup sights by Magpul that are all steel or all metal. And so that was nice. Another thing I was looking for in an AR, I will say, is a flat top on here. Obviously no carry handle, it would kind of defeat my purpose. So I wanted a flat top pick rail here. I wasn't really picky with this spot. In fact, I really didn't want a uh, pick rail out here because I want, I'd rather have M-lock so that I can put pick rail bits like you see up here on the forward part. This helps reduce weight, drag, and just kind of overall fuss when you don't have any type of you know extra rail pick rail up here. So that was basically uh, the features that I wanted. The only other feature that I wanted uh, from, from way back when, I knew I didn't want an EOTech because I have shot EOTechs before and I'm not a huge fan of them. I don't really like their sighting system and their rather open and exposed optics. So I chose to go for a red dot, just a standard red dot. This is a Vortex Spark AR and I got it on a great deal like Black Friday sale and <clears throat> so I got it for a great price and it is a red dot which is what I was going for and the Spark AR sits on this gun really well obviously as the name AR implies they're kind of built for ARs so I find them or I find it to work just fine for this gun and like I said I was uh, keen on getting a red dot Nece not necessarily anything specific like an aim point or a vortex or a hollow sun I didn't necessarily want any brand in particular rather just was going after um, a red dot in general and like I said the Spark AR works great of course it's non-magnified which is a big thing for me I didn't want or I wanted this gun to be kind of close range combat in mind so I didn't want a magnified optic at all so the red dot fits in really well so that's basically all for this side. Swapping over to this side, there's really only one thing on this side, and that is the QD mount. Of course, as you guys see here, I have a Magpul MS4 sling uh, that also came with it. And of course, the MS4 is the QD mounted, uh, dual QD mounted uh, sling by Magpul. So obviously has a QD mount on the front for the, for if I want to run this sling as a two point uh, as opposed to one point of course this sling can be ran as a single point sling but if I want to run it in a two point configuration I have the option of that up front so that is the only thing on that side I will say the only thing I'm really thinking about adding to this gun in particular is a flashlight mount because I want to throw a flashlight on this gun and I actually have a mounted weapons light just don't have the uh, mount for it yet which I will be getting soon so I'm going to throw uh, my SPX 10 by Mech Army on this gun hopefully in the near future so that will pretty much complete it out pretty much everything on this gun it is a pretty extensive list um, of things last notes for parts this is a 16 inch 300 blackout barrel by once again um, Aero Precision and it does have just an A2 birdcage on here. I was thinking about changing out the A2 birdcage for a muzzle break but for me after having some trigger time on this gun uh, the recoil really is not that bad on a 300 blackout at all so I think I'm going to leave the birdcage on it because while rather basic and some people may be like oh you need to throw some custom flash hider or muzzle brake on it I really don't find it necessary for this rifle to be controllable and accurate so I'm probably just going to leave the muzzle brake as an A2 birdcage flash hider just because it really doesn't need to be anything more or less. So anyways, that's basically all I have to say about my dream build. Hopefully this has been able to teach you guys some stuff about what you might want to include or hopefully get you guys thinking about maybe building an AR for yourself. They are, one thing I will say, gr really great rifles if you can afford them. Uh, these ones are a little bit pricey. I was pretty lucky, uh, you know, pricing out everything that I just mentioned. Uh, for building your own AR would be well over a thousand dollars, but because I bought this gun used uh, And I didn't really buy it like it wasn't super used But because I bought it used I was able to get the rifle minus this optic um, 
and the sling and all that for 850 bucks so i really lucked out on getting this entire setup for way less than what it's really worth this whole system minus the optic is probably worth at least you know uh, twelve hundred to fourteen hundred dollars depending on if you caught any sales or whatever so it's pretty expensive but if you can you know put together a build like this for yourself you'll definitely be left very impressed it's really awesome and like I said it's basically everything I wanted in an AR after sitting down you know watching videos watching reviews seeing what other people liked and then finding out what I really liked for myself in an AR and then putting it together of course the last piece to this that I really completely love is the fact that it's flat dark earth everything's flat dark earth minus this and this there are a few black touches I will say but you know for the most part the sling foregrip the you know rifle as a whole butt stock are all tan or flat dark earth and I really love flat dark earth as a color and so the fact that this was my preferred color, as you guys can tell, because of the handgun, um, this is a really great, or a really great build and how it all came together. And that's why it's ultimately my dream AR. Anyways, guys, that's all for now. Hopefully you've enjoyed this, taking a look at it. As always, God bless, and I'm out.